Hey, we're talking about stouts today, and uh, we're gonna go towards the other end of the stout chart. We're gonna look at a Russian Imperial Stout. So what we're gonna do today is go and grab a common stout, which is Guinness, and we're gonna compare that with a Nova Scotia craft beer, this time Propeller Revolution Russian Imperial Stout. Now, since we've been doing reviews, we've only only had a couple of Russian Imperial Stouts, and uh, it's been a while, or Propeller Revolution was one of the last ones that we tried. We tried some other ones from Quebec and uh, yep. you know, Maine and all that, but to us, the Russian Imperial Stout is just a fantastic stout for people who want to experiment, let's say, from the Guinness, which is, you know, in itself a very nice, easy-going, accessible beer. Russian Imperial Stout, you're going at, you know, Eight and a half percent sure. ABV, intense chocolate, intense uh, coffee, more hot, more hot bitterness yeah. at the end. So, yep. I don't know. Let's so so let's give this uh, a little sniff here, and you know, now we're using uh, nonic glasses or a standard uh, Guinness pint. Uh, yep. We can also use a snifter if you want to to yep, retain the aroma. Mm -hmm. And yeah. this one, we will probably probably do want to use a snifter uh, to really try to analyze some of the aromas here. This is totally black. This is black. You can't see through it at all. Nothing at all. It's a nice, cre not creamy head, but it's very uh, dense. Yeah, so, so it's not creamy. Uh, not like the Guinness, because no. the Guinness has this absolutely unique head. Partly it comes from the nitro, you know, that they put on in those, uh, in those cans. But it's also partly probably just from, from how they brew it. And, and it's got, really, I, and I was saying earlier as we were preparing for this that there's nothing that looks like a Guinness. That there, there's nothing that looks as pretty no. as yeah, a Guinness no. in a glass. Yeah, nothing at true. all, right? This, on the other hand, looks intimidating. This looks like it's going to bite you. All right, well, let's yeah. give this a try. And it does. Wow, Ooh. this is fantastic. It is minus oh, two Celsius. Yeah. And it's warming me up yeah. almost instantly. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. And, and, but this intense caramel, candied fruit. I'm getting intense chocolate, chocolate. coffee. Sh Dryness. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. the first thing is you get the caramel and then the coffee and the chocolate. It's absolutely incredible. And dryness and a bit of bitterness. Yeah. It's all there. Yeah. So this might be a, a bit of a step up for somebody who says, oh, you know, Guinness is about all I can handle for a dark beer. Try to give them a Russian imperial style. It's like, are you a big fan of dark chocolate, dark coffee? Yep. Okay, then. Big alcohol. Big alcohol taste. Mm. This might be something that you want to take a look Absolutely. at. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You want to try this. Yeah. 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 It's, uh, <laughs> it's. I say it every time. It's this is one of my favorites. Mm. Um, I, I think it's the best beer that Propeller makes. Mm. Period. I agree. I agree. And one of the best beers in Atlantic Canada. So it's a great time if you like this type of beer, and I think this is probably my favorite now. Mm. Huh. Well, mm. especially this time of the year. I don't know if I drink this in the summer, no. but uh, no, no, probably not. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I don't think so. Not, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you could even buy it. But, hey, it's uh, and it's timely. We're recording yeah. this on the first day of the Olympics in Russia. Oh, that's right. So there you go. So yeah, Perfect. so so we're gonna probably should pack up soon and try to watch some bobsled because that's what's playing today. Two man it? luge. Oh. oh no, that's the bobsled <laughs> later. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, cheers. Cheers. Cheers.